Well, the Northeast is getting slammed once again, and this new storm has all the characteristics of a classic bomb. That's tonight's Forbes factor. So let's bring in the storm master. You know, that's a pretty scary term, Greg, but it could mean some serious weather. Yeah, it really does. And what that means is it's going to intensify explosively, hence the bomb name. It happens because we're going to get a collision of two storms. Our southeastern storm is coming northbound with a weak surface low initially. It's going to be collided with by a storm coming in from the Midwest. It doesn't have much moisture, but has a lot of upper air energy. And when that happens off the mid-Atlantic this evening and tonight, we'll get that bomb take place. Here's why we get that bomb take place. That mid Midwest system has winds aloft that some of them turn north, some of them turn northeast. So it's like pulling your hands apart in the bath water. It takes away some of the water at the top of the column. In this case, air at the top of the column. We call that diverging flow aloft. That removes some of the air. That means it weighs less. That means the pressure falls because pressure is just the weight of the column, the air. And that's going to be taking place as that gets to the coast here. Uh, right this evening, we're starting with about 1,010 millibar low near Cape Hatteras. That's a little bit below average. But watch what happens and watch how the isobars coil by tomorrow morning as the pressure drops 20 millibars to 990 near Cape Cod and then uh, by tomorrow evening down to 980. So it drops 30 millibars. Anytime in 24 hours it drops more than 24 millibars, we call that a bomb. And that coil there looks like a coiled spring. That means very strong winds in those packed areas. So this will have blizzard characteristics in some locations, especially the blizzard, the strong 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts, eastern parts of Long Island, eastern Connecticut, Rhode Island, eastern and southeast Massachusetts, and where there's heavy snow with that, there'll be blizzard, whiteout conditions, uh, drifting conditions. That heavy snow going to begin uh, this evening across eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey and then get heavier as we go up into southern parts of New England. There's still some ongoing freezing rain, freezing grizzle, including D.C. and up into southern parts of New Jersey across Delaware as well. So this is still a double system, but the snow part is going to take over. How much snow are we going to get? The heaviest corridor looks like it's going to go across eastern Long Island into Rhode Island and up toward Boston. There could be some 18 inch amounts in there and this lavender shade, a big area that gets more than a foot of snow. And as I say, some of that will be accompanied by some pretty strong northeast turning to northwest winds, some drifting, uh, some power outages. So a dangerous event. It's going to unfold very rapidly as we get before midnight in many of these places, including New York, New York City tonight.